What's up, everybody? It's time to talk about the movie that is that took over the weekend. Talk to me. Let's go. All right, everybody. So listen, when I first heard about Talk To Me, I forgot what movie I was seeing in the theaters, but they had the trailer come out there. I didn't see it coming. I think it took most of the people by surprise. Anyone that I talked to after seeing that trailer up to when I watched it, I said this would be, this has the potential to be one of the scariest movies that I've ever watched. A24, when it comes to possession style movies, they bring it. Hereditary is a great example of stuff like that. So in seeing that trailer, I was like, we're in for one of the best. It, after seeing this movie, guys, there are some movies you that we watch, right? Some horror movies that we watch. There are other horror movies that we experience. A24 makes movies we experience, meaning when you leave the theater, two, three, four days later, you still remember specifically like certain scenes and certain emotion you felt from certain scenes. Other movies, you could, you forget them as soon as you leave the theater. Like, it was great while you watched it. It was fun, a fun time. But then you leave the theater and it's kind of like, eh, all right. Not this movie. This movie was phenomenal. And I will say this, we're only three years in, but this is the best horror movie of the decade. Of the decade. Let me explain why. There was no... Could this be, this was no like horror comedy or horror drama. This was a horror movie. And this was a, a horror movie that, that bur burrows its way into your mind. It's not just something that you, again, not something you watch surface level that has jump scares you can time and you leave feeling empty. The jump scares were effective. On top of it, how many possession Based movies have we watched and by the way this is not a spoiler a spoiler review you can tell by the trailer what happens but how many possession based movies have we watched and they all seem formulaic they all have the same con of the same general way that leans to the possession they're all shown in about the same manner this broke new ground with that style of movie which Who's who would have thought we would have seen something like that in 2023? A brand new take on the possession subgenre, man. Like the, the so the directors of this movie, it's their debut. So this movie did well in, well at Sundance, which is why it got the acclaim that it did. A24 picked it up and it was off and running. Now, what I love, let's let's take a moment to talk about how great A24 is. I was on a horror uh, Facebook page a few days ago and somebody made a message around along the lines of how is it that two new filmmakers can make an amazing movie whereas these big high produ production company, um, horror production companies don't put out the most thought provoking horror movies. A24 takes chances. They don't play it safe. Some of these other production companies may play it safe. They got their formula that works and they continue to make movies like that. Nothing wrong with that because clearly it works. But as a horror fan, we like to see effective originality. This movie is that. It was a very effective and it was a very original concept. It had some very good jump scares, had some amazing acting, it made you feel for the characters on the screen, even when the movie was over. The ending, not gonna go into what, it, you know, the details of it, but the ending was a satisfying ending. How many times we watch a, a movie that it ends, and you're like, that was it? I can't really conceptualize a better way to end this movie that would still keep in line with this being a new sub-genre or a new take on an old subgenre. I can't say enough good things about this. If you have not seen this movie this past weekend, you got to see it. And I suggest again, like I always say, go to the theater and watch it because it's it's a movie again you experience. It's a very very good horror movie. Best of the year, 
best of the decade, jump scares, stop provoking, all the things that you want in a horror movie, this movie had it. Now, I'm sure there'll be some people that'll say stuff like, you know, uh, there's always naysayers. There's always people that aren't going to look on the negative side of things. I was thinking about this for a few days to what I can say bad about this movie. There's nothing to say that I can think of anyway. It was very effective. And when you thought you knew what would happen, it went a different direction. I it kept you on your toes. It kept you glued to your seat and just stuck in place, fixated on what was happening on the screen. I love this movie and I would like to see it again. If you have seen this movie, definitely get in the comments, but keep it spoiler free. Let's just talk about how good it was because this movie was amazing. If you did see it and you didn't like it, again, spoiler free, but let me know in the comments. If you're new here, this is the Glass Horror Channel, the best horror channel here on YouTube. I do movie reviews, top 10 lists, uh, our trailer reactions, whatever you can think of. And again, I told you in the last video, I'll be bringing back my history of horror soon. If you have not seen any of those, go to my playlist, start, start with episode one. I think I've done four of those so far. Um, fifth one to come out soon. So again, thank you for your time. See you guys next time.